This is Eugene Hanrickovich on the Laptop Screen Doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on an HP Pavilion DV6-3121 NR laptop. Now there's a couple of different designs for the HP DV6. This is the newer model of the HP DV6. And this one has a nickel finish on the top cover, and it's a little bit thinner. Let me show you what a older DV6 looks like. This is an older DV6. It's got a black plastic finish, and also inside it's a black plastic finish. So the older one's a DV6-2180 US laptop. So the screen replacement procedure is totally different for those two laptops. So if you have the older one, I have a different video for the HP, uh, the older HP DV6. Just uh, search for HP DV6 on my videos and you'll find the older model. Okay, so let's get back to this one. I'm going to put the other one down without damaging it. Okay, this one, it's kind of tough. Uh, the reason it's tough is there's two screws that you need to get to down here to remove the plastic frame around the skin. Now typically with this kind of design for HP laptops, we can use a small screwdriver to reach in those two screws and get at them. But the spacing for this one is really tight. So I've done it before where I reached in and got the screws out, but it was very difficult. So I decided it was not a good way to replace the screen on this one. So we went back to the more uh, more time-consuming method that HP recommends for this. So basically what you have to do is remove the keyboard, remove the top cover, and then once you see once the hinges are exposed, you have to remove the screen assembly. And then once you remove the screen assembly, is when you can replace the screen. Okay, to remove the keyboard on top plastic cover, we have to look on the bottom of the laptop. First thing we need to do is remove the battery, which is already removed. Then we remove the, this plastic cover that's in the middle of houses the hard drive and the memory and lots of other components. And we have to take out lots of screws. I already loosened the screws. So where the screws are that you have to remove, there's little orange dots there. So you can pause the video at this moment and go but one by one and remove the orange dots. So I'll pause it here for a couple of seconds. Okay, once you remove the orange dots, well, I'm, I'm sorry, once you remove the screws, you go back on top of the computer and the next thing is you need to remove the keyboard. Oh, one thing I forgot on the bottom. So you need to, there's some wireless antenna cables that need to come out. So you need to lift them up like this, one the black and a gray one so you can pull them out later. Okay, back on top. Let's go through the tools we're going to need. We're going to need an electronics screwdriver with a PH0 bit and a larger PH1 bit. We need some uh, metal tweezers and an um, exacto knife blade to take off some screw covers. And the most important part for this job is some plastic prying tools. Uh, the one that you'll most likely find around the house is a guitar pick, or you can easily purchase at a music store. I also have some plastic prying tools that you can order on eBay. So we'll probably have to try a variety of those to remove the cover. Okay, so the first thing is get the keyboard off. We've already removed the keyboard screws on the bottom. And next we have to lift up the keyboard. The best way I found to lift up this type of keyboard 
is to use a exacto razor blade and try to reach in the corner. I don't want to damage the finish here. So we try to lift it up like so. And the keyboard is lifted up. Now we have a ribbon cable. There's a varnish we have to pull up like this. And once we pull the bar up, see if we get good. We just remove the keyboard. There's some adhesive there, and we put the keyboard aside. Okay, next we look to see if there's any more screws that's holding the assembly here, the top cover assembly. And I don't see any more screws, but we have to release some more ribbon cable connectors. I see two that we have to release. So we go three action, one here, like so. Two, we use our tweezers to take the ribbon cable out. And there's a third one here. So we'll lift this one up and take it out. Okay, so here comes the probably the most difficult part of this job is to pry up the top cover and take it off. So we try to look for an opening. And we go around with that tool and actually it's not as bad as I thought. So there's some adhesive here and it's off. Wow. So things usually don't work this way. Things are usually not easy. So you probably have a little bit more difficult time doing this. But if you loosen the screws on the bottom, it should come off. So just take your time on this. Okay, now next part is we have the bottom assembly with the motherboard and we have the screen assembly. So the next step is to remove the or separate the screen assembly from the motherboard. And to that we remove the screws from the hinges and also we disconnect the video cable. There's a label here which we lift up and there's a a little piece of plastic that we can pull, so we just pull up like so and disengage the video cable like so. And another, remember those two wireless antenna cables that we did, so we remove this ribbon cable so it's not in the way, and we just gently pull the video the Wi-Fi cable so let's loosen them up here a little bit and try pulling them again so yours might have small differences in design so take your time okay what I'm gonna do is the DVD drive is blocking this so what I'm also going to do is remove the DVD drive so as not to damage the Wi-Fi. So next to this dot here, there's another screw that's holding the DVD drive. So we take this screw out and take the DVD drive out and it comes out pretty easily and we put that to the side. Okay, now it's a lot easier to remove the Wi-Fi cables. One, and two. Okay, so now we can take the screen assembly off from the bottom motherboard assembly. Okay, so the hinges are held by two screws here, which we remove. One. And two. And then we have one screw here that's holding the hinge assembly. And we remove that. Okay, next we lift up the screen assembly and it comes right off. 